operating Ritz Carlton. And the rest is history. We went on, and I have to tell that one story. My wife finally came, moved over because she had, we had our baby. My wife moved, and she wrote a and 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 about a few months, a few uh, well, a year later, things were not going well. In fact, they were a disaster. We had a disaster. The company was not going. And I went home, I didn't tell Sherry, because we owned money, still, we couldn't sell our place in Chicago, we had bought a new place, we owned nothing with money, we had a baby, and I said, how am I going to tell her that? But, but pretty soon I thought I have to. And I went there and said, Sherry, I will never forget going on, the, on our deck out there, made her comf comfortable, let's sit and let's talk. And I said, Sherry, we made a mo mistake moving here. And she said, because the company is not working, we have a disaster. And she said, how could you argue with God? We prayed on it, we are here, don't argue with God. I said, never again in front of you. And, <laughs> and, and she said, it doesn't matter if the company has worked, we prayed on it and we are fine. That is the faith of a, of a, of a woman, guys. And I said, okay, and she wrote a prayer to, for the success of the company. And suddenly things started to go well. 19 years later, I retired from its garden. The painting was painted. Everybody asked, why you retire? Well, I was traveling 250 days a year and so on. And besides that, the painting was painted. One more, one less. Who cares? And I read the prayer that my wife wrote 19 years earlier. On closed circuit, we showed to every hotel. Nobody knew I was leaving. I gave notice, and I was as the founder. I opened every Ritz Carlton. I did the training in every Ritz Carlton, the first 55. If it was Shanghai or Philadelphia or Hawaii, it didn't matter. I was there. The employees all know me. I, I, I showed many how to make a bed and how to wash dishes and how to teach and, and taught them who we are. And then, and then there, you, there you are, and it was a major success. We had in the meantime become the leading hotel company in the world. Not only that, the leading brand in the world. And now I gave my notice. Now I told all the employees I'm leaving. And I read a prayer that my, my wife wrote 19 years earlier. And I can tell you, people all came to me and said, oh, come on, you must have written that prayer a few weeks ago. Because all that she prayed for was right there. It is remarkable. And somehow, God was with us. Somehow, he was guiding us. And in the meantime, things happened, like I had cancer, was told I would have a year to live. That was 25 years ago. And all those things happened, but it became a leading hotel company. So what did we do to make it a lead hotel company? What, 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 was, what was the big secret? Well, none. It isn't a big deal. First of all, but we had a vision. We had a dream. We had a purpose. We have to, had the purpose to be the very best hotel company ever created. Some people so, think, may think that's arrogant, but how can I better serve the investor? How can I better serve my customers? How can I better serve my employees? How can I better serve society than be an example for them? If you are scared of being the very best, I'll, I'll submit to you, you're going against the word of God who wants you to be an example. A Christian example. I made up my decision, my mind. I made the decision. We will be the very, very best so that I can better serve the investors, so I can better serve society, so I can better serve the customer, so I can better serve the employees. How does it serve the employees? Well, let me tell you something. If a, if a Ritz Carlton employee goes now and looks for a job, shall I go on? No. Or do you want to ask questions? I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I get carried away. I'm sorry. So, so if, if a Ritz Carlton employee looks today for a job and the hundred others are applying for the same job, the Ritz Carlton employees get, gets it. Why? Because we created the image of being the very best. And we helped the rest of the industry to learn from us. In fact, we helped the industry to learn from us to care to respect the customer, respect the employees. In fact, we hired employees not to come and work for us. We had hired employees to be part of us, part of our dream. I refer again to, to, Adam, to Adam Smith, 
who, who studied 300 years ago, mind you, 300 years ago. He studied the behavior of the human being. And he came to the conclusion that human beings cannot relate to orders and directions. And what do we do in business? We give orders and directions. He said human beings can relate to objective, meaning vision, purpose, and motive. We told him we want to be the best. That's our vision and purpose. And the motive is that so you have better experience, so we can grow, so you make more money, so you have more opportunity, so you, you have more respect and honor received from the world. So you can be an example and help others to be excellent. That's how we hired people. We oriented people not by showing them what to do, but by when we, when we, we selected people, then we oriented people by showing them who we are. We said, come here, here's who we are, join us. Don't come to work for us. Here's who we are, here's where we're going to go, and here's what's good for you. We gave them purpose. In fact,